How are we doing YouTube? Nick Pratap here, Next Gen Rehab. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over uh, what specifically can you do with a exercise science or uh, bachelor's degree uh, in kinesiology. So I've been getting this question quite a bit and I actually did make a previous video to this, uh, but I did wanna do a couple updates uh, to this one. So uh, when you get out of university or if you're currently going through it, you might be asking yourself, well, what can I really do with a exercise science degree? And that's a really good question. A lot of people, um, there are a lot of students going through school, um, you know, end up liking certain aspects of it. Maybe they like the biology, maybe they like the fact that they get to work with uh, athletes, um, and that's what initially draws them in. But what specifically can you use this degree for? So my personal journey, I, uh, I got out of, uh, well actually during school, I did a couple practicums where I worked as a kinesiologist uh, uh, intern uh, at a couple clinics. I did some rehab work for some chiropractors, RMTs, and physiotherapists. So they would work with the client, send them over to me, and uh, I would put them through some exercises and stretches. Uh, so that was pretty cool. I got to pick up some good experience there. Um, but then once I actually finished that, I, um, I realized for me it wasn't uh, the, the path that I wanted to take. So I actually uh, got into um, some fitness instructing with, with cardiac rehab patients. I uh, really enjoyed that. Then I ended up going off and getting my certification as a clinical exercise physiologist. Uh, and now I'm currently working as a clinical exercise physiologist in the hospital, but that's just one route. Um, coming out of school, uh, you have access to a lot of different options. I mean, some people will stay in the field, they'll, uh, they'll go ahead and do the, the routes of becoming a chiropractor, um, they'll go ahead and do the routes of becoming a physiotherapist, maybe an RMT. Uh, some will go ahead and become a kinesiologist, maybe get some other certifications. Uh, some will leave the field and maybe go into uh, more of an administrative role, so doing some case managing. Um, you know, with the disability uh, patients, work safe uh, patients, as well as, uh, you know, case managing car accident patients. Um, uh, some might uh, completely do a 180 and, and, and uh, you know, get into some things like uh, uh, business or, or even some research. So at the end of the day, you, you have a lot of options. Right? It really comes down to what you specifically like to do. Uh, one thing is pretty certain, I, I mean, if you, if you uh, do want to update uh, some of your knowledge and you do want to get more into that hands-on experience uh, with, um, you know, being able to do manual therapy and whatnot with your clients, then you will need to do uh, further education. So after getting your bachelor's degree, you're most likely going to have to go ahead and, and do some sort of master's work, PhD. Um, for me specifically, I had to put in 500 hours of clinical uh, experience uh, that's been bumped up to a thousand now with uh, the American College of Sports Medicine before I was eligible to write the exam to become a clinical exercise physiologist. Uh, <clears throat> so it really comes down to what what, uh, what path you want to take, right? And that's why, uh, as I've said in my previous videos, I uh, really focus on things that you enjoy doing, right? What are, what are the characteristics that, um, you know, draw you to this, to this degree rather? Because it, it is a great degree and um, there are a lot of doors that you can open with, uh, open it uh, with it, but also realize that there are a lot of students coming out of the same degree um, in the exact same boat as you, right? So, you know, becoming a chiropractor, physiotherapist, um, RMT, doctor, those are all great, but if you got, you know, however many people are coming out of your grad class shooting for the same thing, it might be very challenging for you to not only get into the school, but also to, uh, to get work. And then, um, you know, once you finish the schooling, what's it like to get work, right? Um, what kind of experience do you have? Have you had that experience as an intern? Um, do you have those networking connections? And these are all things I've also talked about in, in some of my previous videos, right? So, um, you know, really sitting down with yourself and asking yourself, well, hey, you know, I, I do like this exercise science degree, um, but what do I really see myself using it for, right? If you're someone that enjoys working with people, you know, if you're someone that, uh, you know, really enjoys working uh, or, or understanding the human body. Um, if you're someone that uh, is able to, you know, take ideas and really problem solve because you're going to get clients coming in, especially as a, as a, when I was working as a kinesiologist and even now working as a clinical exercise physiologist, you know, you don't only get your textbook scenario, right, where, you know, a person comes in, it's, you know, meniscus pain or, you know, they got some shoulder issues, whatever, right? Um, it's usually a, that injury accompanied with multiple other things. So you're gonna learn how to troubleshoot. And I think <clears throat> the best piece of advice I can give here is how are you gonna be able to, um, you know, learn all this stuff is, you know, through trial and error. And that's why, you know, going through school is great, but you also wanna be getting some of that practical knowledge when, you, when, you, uh, when you're able to work in a clinic, when you're able to get a mentor, uh, when you're able to do some networking. That exposes you uh, 
tenfold compared to what kind of stuff you're going to be able to learn through a textbook. And in that period of time when you're doing your internship or you're doing your networking or you're starting to ask some of these questions about, okay, well, what do I see myself doing with this degree? Uh, you start finding some more answers, right? You start realizing, okay, maybe this is something I don't want to do. Maybe this RMT route or physio route or doctor route isn't for me. Or maybe you'll be like, oh, it totally is, right? Uh, but you, you'll never know until you actually give it an attempt and, and, and go ahead and try some of these things. Um, and remember, you, I mean, most individuals uh, watching this video are probably uh, still young enough to potentially change a decision. I mean, if you decide that, hey, you know, kinesiology isn't for me, or this degree isn't for me, then why, you know, continue to pursue it? I mean, coming out of school with a degree nowadays, um, it's great, but you also got to remember that there's a ton of other people coming out with, with those same degrees. So you got to you got to really uh, understand what's what is it that you enjoy doing and um, um, sit down and, and you know write some of the pros and cons of okay if I do decide to go down this route am I really willing to put in these extra two three four years of school uh, if the answer is yes great if the answer is no then maybe um, try exploring some other options you still have time to try different courses out in school uh, you still have time to uh, go to job fairs obviously and, and network with other people to see what it is that uh, uh, they offer as well. And uh, just use this period of time in your life to, to really uh, see what it, it is that you enjoy doing. Uh, because it's, if it's a job that you're essentially gonna be doing for the next 30, 40 years of your life, I'm not saying it's gonna be the exact same job, people do change careers throughout, but why not explore those different options now so you can really um, sit down with yourself and be like, hey, you know what, this is, this is a route that I wanna explore. If it works out great, if it doesn't, then you have a lot of time to, to go ahead and, and try something new. All right, so I just want to do a quick video on that today. Uh, hopefully that information does resonate with some of you. And if you have any more questions or if you would like to see any more videos uh, similar to this, or if you have any ideas on videos that, uh, or topics that you want me to cover, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, once again, this is Nick Batap from Next Gen Rehab. We'll see you in the next video.